Okay, um, I'll call to order the Tucson Community Center meeting for June 8th. Welcome everybody. Uh, we're just talking, uh, want to check in on the minutes from 511 um, to see if anybody had any questions or concerns. I have an addition. Yeah. Um, there was an announcement that Rob Beal resigned and that wasn't included. Um, and then anything else? We did want to see who, how we were going to take minutes for today as we're looking at the minutes from the last time. Um, we are, nobody's really inclined to that, which is hard. Um, I don't know about you, Ann, but we did just start. Sorry. I have requested you to give me permission to open it. I know I haven't yes. seen it if I can't open it. No, you have not seen it. My mistake. <laughs> My mistake. Uh, so, yes, it was the other one, Pam, that I asked you to. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I well, and I was like, I know you're so good with all. I try to keep yeah. track. I didn't. I probably had to sign in, but yeah, yeah. So I was like, so we need to figure out taking of minutes. So um, Mary Kate and Steve and Erica have had turns. Lynn, you're all inclined to try tonight. Or Anne, are you inclined to? It's your first meeting. My, so first, my preference was not my first meeting. Yeah, I would think minutes, so. But yeah, look before. <laughs> <laughs> I will attempt. I'll tell you right now. I'm. Horrible, but I yeah. will attempt. Well, and what happens yeah. is they get turned into yeah, I know, I know. and then Mary Kate and I will look them over. Yeah. So really it's just a add what you can yeah. and then we'll we'll take yeah. it from there too. So, yeah. so don't I just make it talking and then not, you know, right. I know well, it's hard forget to, to write. Right. 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 You don't want to rewatch the whole yeah. thing, but it's an option. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so any changes to any other things for the minutes? I have worked them over, so I don't have any additions. You don't have any additions. Anybody else additions, changes? Mm -hmm. Great. So we'll we just have um, Pam to add Rob Beal resigned. Is that okay to mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah number, number three, right? Update of membership. Sure, yes. Typically you would add that Pam and then post it. Is that okay? Yeah, I think that's that? appropriate, probably oh. right there. Yeah. Okay. okay, great. And then are you able to take a draft off of it? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And then thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. So would you you'd like me to just add Rob's resignation and then post this line? That'd be great. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So any changes to this agenda? That comes up. Just thought we'd add that just to see if anybody has anything to add. Um, no, seeing none, we will move on to the um, reading the mission statement. That's one of the things that we wanted to do a reread on that, right? Yeah, I was not that time. Just I, before we move on, I just would want to make sure that there is an item on here for us to talk about the next meeting. Yes, there is. Um, I, I. I do want it probably will take a couple of minutes okay. to talk about that just because okay. Steve did give me some feedback about that. So it'll be more than just like one day. Okay. Okay. So when we look at the new mission statement that we I just wanted to kind of review it and see what people were feeling after having a little bit of time. Um, so right now it reads, and Jenna, this is um, hopefully helpful for you to hear because you weren't here for this discussion. So I'll catch your attention on this. Um, the mission of the Community Center Committee is to understand the desires and needs of the Topsom community to identify accessible, affordable, sustainable recreational solutions that will serve the multi generational community and foster social connection among Topsom citizens. That is what we came up with from the last meeting. And I just want to check in and see if there was anything else. That people wanted to talk about that. Is recreational too specific? Community building. 
It is not set in stone, so. I like recreational because I don't, I think we think of the rec department, but I also think that that can be a lot of things. I mean, I kind of look at it pretty comprehensively as far as a recreation and, or to recreate is to just to, to act, to be, to do an activity, to, to be active. Like that's kind of how I see it. So I'm okay with it. If that's, I, I don't know where it stemmed from and all that, but I know why that thought comes to my, to the head of like, oh, it's like fitness or it's a sport, but I, I kind of think it's kind of inclusive enough in my opinion. It could be a senior center, it could be a yoga room, it could be, I mean, it, it's not just, I mean, I think there, it is expansive. And I think some of what we've talked about in the past is hoping that even if we don't get a community center out of this, we get a, a plan of how to develop and where we need to focus our energies and how, how to, you know, begin to do additional programs, whether that be you know, where and when that we're hoping the needs assessment will give us that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a question. Yeah, yeah fine with yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then we thought we would take a, some time just to go around the room. And yes, um, there's a couple of people who aren't here, three people who aren't here, but it is Mary Kate, do you think that's still a good time to um yeah, I just want to add one more thing about the mission statement is that um Part of the reason why I also wanted to see that on the agenda is to just remind us what we're doing here. We don't really have like a, um, I mean, we have the mission statement, but we don't have any other kind of like sort of um, centering or focusing statement that we're using to remind us mm -hmm. each time we start the meeting about what we're doing here. So maybe we'll come up with something else, but that was also my thought, not yeah. just to check the language, but to just kind of remind us why we're here. That makes sense. Okay. Um, in terms of welcome and introductions, I mean, I I feel like we should, I mean, we have Erin here. I feel like we should because we're going to have a meeting and I think, you know, she should know who we are around the table and we can maybe do it again when we have others. That's my thought. But. Mm -hmm. I'll start. Um, my name is Leslie Byrne. I am a mom of two kids. Um, I live in Topsom, and um, my husband, Jim, is a physical therapist. I'm an occupational therapist in the school system. Um, my kids are 17 and 20, and um, he's, we live in the same neighborhood, <laughs> in addition to one other person, so we call our families have grown up together, which is just interesting that our neighborhood is very well represented. Um, and so, yes, I work in the school system, have a couple dogs, and I wanted to join this committee just as a caring citizen of the community. I want to make sure that I represent the people in the community in this endeavor, um, and that's why I've come. Hi, Ann. Um, Ann and I talked on the phone, so we, we did. haven't met a bit, but so Mary-Kate Appenzelli and I have three kids who are in the middle elementary and high school and my husband and um, my interest in, in joining the committee is really um, having been on the comprehensive plan update committee. Uh, we identified that people really wanted an opportunity to come together intergenerationally and a place besides Hannaford or Rusty to see each other at the transfer station mm -hmm. and find opportunities for that, not necessarily building, but opportunities to, to gather. Um, and my background is public health. And so I, I like the idea of uh, improving our mental health and well being through connections. I'm Lynn Soroy. I grew up here in Topsom, married. My husband and I are both retired. Two kids, um, 23 and 21. My son's getting married next May. Sunday. And I'm not old enough for that, <laughs> but it's very exciting. Yes. And um, so being a lifelong, mostly a lifelong resident, I lived in Bowdoin for a number of years. Um, you know, I've seen this town change pretty drastically since when I grew up here. You know, no Topson Fair Mall, no Highlands, no bypass. Um, it was quite a different um view on the town back then. And um, I just feel that this type of explora exploration 
whether we do end up with a building or a place or, or what may come of this, I think it's really important for the town. So, and Mark and Leslie are good at twisting arms to <laughs> get volunteers. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want me to go there? Sure. Um, I'm Annie Callahan. Um, my husband Michael and I have lived here for eight years. We have one son who is um, lives 800 feet away from us, yeah. <laughs> and um, I wanted to serve the community. My husband Michael and I have been married for 45 years. I'm 66, so I'm the older person your team was looking for um, in that generation, and so I'm just here to serve in whatever capacity I can. I'm looking forward to working with you, and I really respect the work you've done. I, I've done my homework and read a couple of years worth of minutes and just got in touch with what was going on. And thanks extra to Mary Kate for taking the one one on one. So. Um, so I'm not actually on the committee. So Pam and I are staff members on the assistant town manager. So we kind of support the committee. Um, I've lived in Thompson since 1995. My wife, since maybe not quite for her, as, as Ed likes to say, the transfer station. <laughs> He went to Brunswick to be born and immediately said he wanted to go back to Topsom and then he come back here. Um, I've got two kids, 23 and 24. Uh, and I was a Brunswick police officer for 22 and a half, almost 23 years. Retired from that in 2020 um, and came here at that point. And Mark's wife and I have known each other for since high school, but... no, since elementary school, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Longer time. way back. <laughs> yeah, Jenna. Yeah, Jenna. Yeah, Jenna. Hi, I'm Jenna Goto. I am a, I think Mary Kate said, a mom. Um, uh, I have had my arm twisted like Lynn's. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. Oh. Like, I, <laughs> um, okay. I have three children in all in three different schools at this point and um i'm a little bit crazy half the time probably like most of us so i just am joining when i can i'm not an official member but i just try to join in and listen in when it's possible um i too like mary kate were a part of some pieces of the comp plan and that was resounding that one of the things that our community was asking for is a place and a location and a even just a green of sorts to have have a picnic where it's kind of like that a, I say a community center but I don't mean it like that like a, a centering place where we can you know you can gather um, and and do different things so that's kind of something that stuck with me for for all this time as well but I, I mean I, I like to be a part of what I want to see so my goal is to participate as possible and um, because I, I would like to have something come to fruition for our community. My name is Pam LaDuke. I um, started in the Parks and Recreation Department in 1987 um, and worked summers the first two years. And then we turned it into a 32 and then a 40 hour position. Uh, and from there, we've expanded and added fields and added parks and added staff and um, are slowly continuing to try to, you know, address things. But there are areas that I know that we're not as pronounced at that we should be. Um, and I think that, you know, we're trying to increase with the adult program. It's kind of funny. You'll find this one interesting. The ladies who play on Wednesday nights volleyball have taken the ball and our spare net and are playing in each other's homes this summer. So they have, a, and they've all initiated it themselves. So I, I kind of thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so, um, but um, just looking to see where and how and what we need to do to expand services and always open to suggestion. And um, we're a different community because we live across the river from Brunswick. I think a lot of people see what Brunswick has and want us to be part of that to a certain degree, but yet they like what we offer here as well as far as closer knit community, tighter ties, elementary schools, that type of thing. Um, so I'm, I'm always looking at how to make that work and, and develop. 
Thank you so yeah. much. That was very kind. Okay, so we wanted to talk a little bit about membership. Um, I will say that Mark, our neighbor, has said that he cannot. Oh, really? Okay. That's too bad. Yeah. All right. Um, it was a great idea. Yeah. So we're continuing. We're we're at seven, and we need to determine if we want to stay at seven, or with some people not being available, if we want to continue to have maybe a couple more uh, members, so that we have a consistent, you know, more people show, able to show up at the table. So that was just the discussion that we wanted to have. Let's see what people's feelings are. I think I'd like to see a couple more members, especially when we get to the part of breaking down all the, the demographics of the groups that we want to follow up one on one with. Yeah. Because it'd be nice to pair up and do one project. Or right. That. Right. I do well with that. Some, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think we keep we keep looking, and there was a demographic that we had talked about. Younger. Yeah. I mean, I had just mentioned the idea of uh, you know like a high school age student or something, maybe even if it was somebody who participated in sort of the same thing that Jenna is, is just to make sure we have that voice of, you know, a young person, um, you know, being represented because they are heavy users. Well, yeah, not but I mean, you know, um, right now we have, um, you know, the rec fields and we have the, the library, but there really isn't a place for kids to go around here. That's not a, like a structured activity. So it seems like we'd want to have their, their voice about what they're interested in. We certainly got feedback when we did the comprehensive plan about you know what people are interested in. But for this specific venture, I think we should make sure that kids are in there. more than just a focus group, more than just a stakeholder, but just here so we're informed. What happens when that person is graduating high school and going off? Like, how do we have continuity with a younger person over time? Well, well, I mean, we all know. our membership will change too. Yeah. I think I, it's yeah. just a matter of like keeping about what the interests of people of that age group yeah. would still be relevant. I think. Right. So you could even use an 18, 19, or 20 year old who has a local job who'd still be aging yeah. yeah. and not going anywhere, not planning to go anywhere. Right. Or a young couple, like maybe mid to later 20s. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was hoping for the neighbor, too. Yeah. 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 Well, but I think, but I, I don't think it's personality driven, though. I think it's around the category. Do we yes. have age group? Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. But we don't, uh, Erica has younger children, but they're not, not they're not, they're elementary, not, not everybody's in elementary. Her, so her she's son is middle school. Youngest? No, her oldest son. Her oldest, oldest yes. Yeah. Right. So I'm thinking she, she has little ones too. So, I mean, in particular, I'm thinking that demographic of the kids who can pop on their bikes and can ride someplace. So they have ability to get around town. And then, of course, the ones who are a little bit older who maybe can drive or whatever that would be able to be independent mm -hmm. without a parent, I guess. Is what and Anne, just so you know, typically we just sort of start to think in our own heads who we know, what who we might reach out to, and then we come back the next month and you know say we've had any luck. So it's really just us um, brainstorming and thinking about people who might be interested. We have what, some. Have, Do we need to, we need to formally actually add Anne in two minutes though, right? Because she joined since our last meeting. Into the minutes. I mean, it's our notes. So we, we welcomed Anne, but we need to make sure she's like especially saying that she can remember because that was something that happened without us identifying somebody. Okay. So I just meant that like, so we might come up with somebody, but like you moved pretty quickly in between. So like that could all, we could also have that too. Like yes. Someone could join because we've asked them or something. How did you find out about this? Um, I had a meeting with um, Matt Nixon in reference to the Thompson Trail Riders, not in terms of being um, on the board of selectmen and I was telling him how I applied to be the citizen who was going to be on the um, search committee for the superintendent schools and of course that was a lottery and I my name wasn't chosen so I said well I missed that opportunity perhaps I'll get another one in the future and he said I think we have an opening in our community center and I actually applied um, that day and was interviewed by the Board of Selectmen 
few days later and then voted in that night. So it happened pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So that was that's awesome. Yeah. That was totally yeah. organic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. Nice. Okay. So let's so, so if you're at your seven, you mm -hmm. probably won't get too many more organic ones like that. Because I think if someone called up or contacted them and said, hey, we're looking at committees where you need help, they're probably directed to ones that don't have vacancies. Um, but with that said, if you have people you want to invite, I'm sure the select board doesn't really care if you have seven or eight or nine, mm -hmm. whatever you'd like. The only caveat, though, is you want to be careful that we don't have a bunch of people that can't necessarily come a lot because then you might have a quorum issue. All of a sudden, we're nine people, yeah. so now you're going to get five to be here. Um, so, so if, if you if you have people that say I'd like to, you know, kind of like Jenna, that say I'd like to participate and come when I can, maybe you don't actually make them a member. Maybe you just invite them to the meetings mm -hmm. um, because you guys listen to Jenna's input just as much as anyone else's. So mm -hmm. they could certainly be well you know, able to share ideas without formally being a committee member. Okay. Committee member. That's a good point. Especially yeah. if somebody who has young children, they might have a harder time committing because of that. So. And you might have someone that comes to a few meetings this way and then says, yeah, I really like this. I think I want to commit. And then then you mm -hmm. could go to the select board and say, that, hey, we've got someone who wants to apply. But the, committee, the committee would like to be bigger. Um, I mean, our, usually the opposite problem. We don't get enough volunteers for our committees. So mm -hmm. I, I think if someone came forward and said, I want to be on the committee, and the committee says we'd like to be bigger, I can't imagine the select board would say, no, we don't want you to be. Okay. But at this point, you wouldn't recommend increasing it to nine because then we would need five. Unless you had a couple people that you knew were really committed to yeah. come regularly. Mm -hmm. okay. So I so it sounds like we should continue to talk to people to make sure that the voices we want are represented, but the actual membership piece is maybe not necessarily as important. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Great. Anything else with membership? Um, we'll move on to uh, any check it check in questions and concerns. Um, the next one is Six Rivers, which is possibly somebody would mention as a as a check in, but um, this was just meant to yeah, further any, that. Yeah, if anything came up in between our meetings that anybody had a question about, chance to talk about it. I don't have anything. Else. I don't have anything. I don't either. Okay. Okay. So we'd love to get a report um, of the visit to Six Rivers and maybe summarize what that yes. is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lynn and Pam and Mark Aaron. didn't show. <laughs> no, I didn't commit to show that day. I mean, the first oh, you did? Oh, I could have okay. come yeah. the afternoon one, but I couldn't. Um, yeah. um, so, what is Six Rivers? So, Six Rivers um, is one of the gentlemen. I'm going to drop one on this name. Pam, just in time. <laughs> Six Rivers, our visit. Oh, go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, did you finish or? Did yeah, you... we're just oh, starting. Okay. okay. So the, um, what we're on to is a report of the visit to six rivers and, and this is how we got it to me. So. <laughs> um, the six rivers organization came about through, I would think it's safe to say mid coast youth hockey, um, a group of coaches and parents that wanted to expand see something happen. Um, they are um, looking, they have purchased the um, half, what was Roller World. There were lots of memories that came back <laughs> for some people. <laughs> um, and a lot of discussion over what their plans are. They're in the middle of negotiating with Pine Tree um curling which is a, oh a national or a state association for curling that has been going to Belfast to oh, curl. Wow. and they're actually looking at um going in and doing renovation works to the actual floor that was roller world and turning that into a curling facility um if you haven't ever been in there there's a kitchen area there's a few other things one thing they have done is they lease out in front of it to a physical therapy um office that sports physical therapy um they plan to expand if you're looking at roller world they plan to expand on the left hand side to put an outdoor rink in out there 
um, that would have some indoor seating and restroom area availability, but they want it to be pretty much a fall winter type of ice when it gets cold enough that they can make ice and freeze it and then have a um, refrigeration system underneath it. Um, there's a whole science to that that I don't think we even can begin to understand um, that how they can make it work. Um, they are partial owners of the parking lot that is there. They hope to tear down the old rink that they had created and turn that area into parking. Um, they at some point in time would like to expand further than that, but right now that's kind of their focus. Seacoast still owns the dome, the Seacoast organization, Seacoast Soccer um, Association still owns the dome, but they are leasing that to a gentleman in Brunswick by the name of Brandon Augustine. Brandon coaches baseball and has a lot of connections to Brunswick and has, has um, a mindset that he hopes to take down the dome and put a new one up. And this is my discussions with him. This didn't happen at Six Rivers, but I know Brandon from softball. Um, he's, he has a hope of taking down the old dome, putting in a good, much better surface, which if any of you were around when they put that up, my kids were playing soccer back then. They put it up in the dead of winter when the ground was frozen and there was no type of cushion surface. It was grass that just got put on or yeah, rolled out carpeting, out indoor outdoor carpeting. Um, so He's for, he is trying to make bigger plans and do things with it. Um, he's open to, he tried to talk to me about running things in there, perhaps the summer or the spring. I have a concern with the facility as it is. I don't feel that it's the cleanest. I don't know the air circulation. I think there's some things there that they have to look at. Um, so I think his plan to renovate and do something with it is, is probably appropriate. He and Six Rivers would partner to build the parking lot together. Um, so that's kind of that part of it. I think Lynn, yes. we heard, I want to say, wasn't it seven, six or seven million? Is that what I? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what they said. Yeah. yeah. Um, is sure what they, they think the cost, the overall cost will be. They're still in the process of trying to raise that and and find the parking lot? No, for the facility in general. This is, I'm talking about Six Rivers. Um, they're, yeah, to do what they hope to do and want to do. Um, so they're not thinking anything this winter. They're thinking another year before they really have their feet in the ground. But they've got a lot of fundraising to do before that. And there's a lot of stuff inside there. Um, if I remember correctly, I don't think they were looking to keep the kitchen area. And they're talking about like raising the ceiling so they could potentially have like lacrosse in there. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they, they have the potential to have a lot of activities inside that building, mm -hmm. but they have a lot of work to do to get it to that point. Mm -hmm. So hence so much money to and that parking lot is a mess a, a mess it's all holes it's mm -hmm. all holes and everything so um but i think from the sounds that they and i don't know either gentlemen that was the first time i had met either one of them but um it appears that they have the background and the knowledge um one of the gentlemen the younger one nate Wallace. nate yeah and so Mary Kay Mitchell from Yeah, and he, he was involved from the get go, right? When the building was originally he, built. He, he actually was, his family helped yeah. to build it. Yeah. He wasn't alive, but his family helped well, to build it. Yeah. So, so a lot of history there, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I mean, my experience and my knowledge, and, and the other gentleman who was not there, but is a key person in the whole picture is Ken Stockford, who also was, you know, been on, he's served the community on our finance committee. He's had kids in the system. He understands that and has traveled all over the state for hockey. And so he in turn wants to see it come back here as well. Once ice back here. And 
in relation to you and why we went there and had a field trip there. We're just really trying to put out our feelers for what is happening in the community. It's one of the uh, people that we've um, just thought about as you know, as we're moving forward. Of, of, do we work with somebody? Do we not? It's that location. And it just might in time play, have a play in what we're doing. So we just thought it would be helpful to, to not know. compete with businesses that yes. are already in existence. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 And visions to um, so that we know what they're doing as we're looking for right if we ever do get to the point where we have building and we're not duplicating yeah. efforts yeah as well so to see the scope of perhaps of the, the undertaking too is yeah yeah i think important to know so it was really Huge. just a fact yeah finding kind of curiosity thing for us to go so it was nice that they that you all spent the time thank you yeah i think back since the survey, there was two groups that kind of reached out to us once the survey came out, maybe concerned that we were looking for the same pot of money or concerned, again, duplication of services. One was this group and the other was the library. So it's good to keep the channels open with both mm -hmm. and see if there's ways we can work yeah. together. Anything else with that? Any next moves? Just to make sure that just, I think, just keep the lines of communication yeah. open. And so you share, you all shared with them what we were doing and how they would likely be. I told them we were playing the stakeholders. Yeah. We were looking yeah. at that okay. portion of it. Um, we um, didn't go into a lot of details because we didn't want to give them a timeline and then oh, it sure. not be. So we, we told them we'd reach back out yeah. and be in touch with them. Okay, great. And then we wanted to talk about social media. What I have here is logo with Heather. Um, we had talked about a name. Uh, was Pam? Were you able to talk to Heather? I have to be honest. My times of speaking with Heather, <laughs> proud lover, um, recently have been about track and field for the summer. Imagine. The end of track and field for for, for middle school. Um, the area that we're creating at the high school right now for state championship and recognition of um, all of the four graduate, you know, the, the Eagle Award, um, the Community Service Award, all those things that happen at, at um, graduation. Um, we're building and actually Lance Lingle's up there today. I took a picture. Um, there's actually an area that's being developed beside the court. So those are the things yeah, I've yeah. dealt with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get past this. But yeah. I will I will talk with her. I, okay. I, I'm sorry. I oh, apologize. Sure. You can, it's not urgent. You know, it's not urgent. So uh, we had come up with some ideas for names, and we thought we would come back to that and see what people's feelings were. Um, so we have down creating a connected community, create our community, creating community in Topsum, and creating a connected community again. <laughs> oh, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's twice. Oops. Changes to the agenda in action. <laughs> yeah, and so did I forget one then? What's my one? Creating your community was the one that. Who's going to remember? What's his name? Roger. Roger, Roger Jane. I have in my notes creating community in Topsum. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. And the minutes it has connect our community. That was the number. <laughs> yeah, we have create our community. So connect our community. And create our community. We have yeah. And connect and create your community. So yes, there's lots of variations. Creating a connected community, I have that. Okay. So connect and create your community is not on the list right now. So are we thinking short and sweet? Are we thinking we want to decide on this today? Um, do we not need to? No. I mean, I don't know if Anne or Jenna have anything yeah. to add to that. So the idea just, I think if I remember correctly was if we were to create a Facebook page or have any materials that we would have some kind of like theme that people would connect back to what we're doing, that that's, you know, right? Yes. yes. So 
Um, so plan, uh, the comprehensive plan had plan your plan your plan your top set. So short, sweet, plan your top set. So that's where we're sort of going on that something. Yeah, short, sweet, but. Yeah, so if we're like doing a flyer regarding like a stakeholder group or some kind of community meeting or something, what what are we gonna pull people in with attached to a Facebook page or something else? So I'm gonna throw out there that I really like creating community and toxin. I think that says what we're trying to do. I like it. On the bottom of our stationery. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. We had creating community through people, parks, and programs. So, I mean, I think it kind of says what you just, it, in a briefer, more mm -hmm. direct. Mm -hmm. And it's not too repetitive. Do we, Mark? The thing I like better, I like your suggestion too, because when I, the two that have connected community immediately beside each other, I keep thinking we're working on broadband access. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, good one, yeah. So I, I like that. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. It's very clear. Yeah. Well, and someone earlier was saying, "I, you know, we want a place where people get together. It doesn't have to be a building. Yeah, just so we can connect. And that that's really what it was about. Mm -hmm. Right. It's the core mission. Yeah, I like it too. I'm not opposed. But I nothing has really like yeah. zinged me like yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, the good news is you can change the title on Facebook. In the right. Future. Yeah. Well, well, you kind of. Jenna, wants it. Jenna, do you yes. have something you want to add? Well, I was just going to ask if there was, you know, with when we did the comp plan stuff, we did like a whole, it was like this whole branding look. Like it's not that extensive for this, is it? Or are you hoping to have it be that extensive? In like with a design associated? Well, yeah, because they did that whole thing. We had everything we did had that, had that like logo with, um, Plan your tops or whatever it was like I, I mean we had it on everything that little square with you know it was on everything I don't I don't necessarily know that that needs to be that extensive but um I, I guess that's what I'm wondering was that the vision or I think that's what you were going to talk to Heather right I think that's what we were thinking Heather might give to us she might be able to come up with a design or a logo that would fit what they were talking about so yes. So Pam, awesome. okay. So and then that would be like the Facebook page would have that like logo right on it, and that would be yes. like your, you know, whatever your. Um, can you say what yours was, Pam? Again, like plan. We have on the bottom of our stationery. It's just been there forever. Is creating community through people, parks, and programs. I think I think that's pretty comprehensive and pretty simple, but. If, if we're thinking about the branding, that was like, those were like big words. Mary Kate, do you know, you remember what I'm talking about, Pam? You probably remember, like, it was like very, I don't know how you'd have all that in something if you're I trying know. to. I know. That's the Parks and Rec one. So ours would be creating community in Thompson. That's what it's all the table. Oh, okay. So you're you're saying Pam, yours was that. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, would change it slightly. It's similar, as is playing your top sum. You know, creating community and top sum. So it's. Yeah, I think it's along the cool. same lines. Yeah. And part of me likes to make decisions by just landing on something for a little bit. We're not making a logo. We're not making a huge change. Yeah. But it's something to. To yeah. sit with for a period of time and we can change it if we yeah. want to. Like, I, I like that a, idea. A slight change. Yeah. We can do that. <clears throat> Sound okay, Jenna? Oh, I think it's great. I, I guess, I mean, I can get wrapped up too much in the details of things. So it's probably better off that I'm just <laughs> sit with it. <laughs> sit with it for a bit. Okay. I also think with three members missing, yeah, that I would feel better not deciding anything yeah. tonight. Nothing's oh, yeah. being turned yeah. into yeah. a logo. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <clears throat> Although I'm sure something could be drafted with the, right. with, you know, right. the theme of what we're doing. Yeah, and she might even have the suggestion. I think she's going to say that, that, that there's stuff like that. With, with stuff oh, like that. That's so, a great idea. Yes. Yeah. So we can give her all the options. Yeah, yeah. And she might come up with something totally different that we love. Okay. Okay. And she may be like, this is great. 
And Heather Hanbach is a dynamo in the community who's a parent and what is oh, her name? Oh, oh, Hollenbach. Business owner. Too. Yeah, her main yeah. name was Ulrich's and she yes. worked for me my first summer here. Oh, That's how long I've like, known like Heather. She, she was in college at Albright. Oh, for some of the local nice. restaurants and she's done back to apartment, high school, middle school, elementary. She just sounds she amazing. Her, 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 her education was in graphic design. Yeah, so that's cool. it. Okay. okay. So we and we've I have down here on the agenda how will we use social media? I think we've discussed that enough and we can't continue on. Okay. Um, review the Google Doc of stakeholders in the community. So thank you, Pam, for Going to have uh, <clears throat> They're all organized on packets before Mary Kay. Oh, I'm did, sorry. Yeah, I oh, already. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You you did the whole Thank you. I did it on the elevator. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that goes. So yeah. I'm not, I've got this one for you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We have another one. Another one. One more coming down. Okay. So Anne was good to mention that we need to represent churches. Um, that was just a suggestion. Oh yeah. Good to suggest, yes. That we I think it's great because it's an important part of our community. So we just need to think about that as we're looking at these. So I just took the opportunity to put these on paper in hopes that seeing it in front of us might help us to organize. And then if one was to say, you know, I personally am, have experience with Elm Street Sister Living in the Highlands and Ruth Lyons and the library. So I may take the older community or something like that, you know, like, um, and then my thought was that I would move forward and work on the contacts and the phone and the email and just bring that back to the next meeting or July or August meeting so that we're the goal and you may have picked up is by August 1st we're hoping Bob Barcelona is going to know whether or not he can move forward with us okay. so we're working on these take stakeholders so that we can have this information available um, in hopes that he's ready at that time will we do <clears throat> focus groups ourselves or will that be part of the assessment that Bob is doing we might be rounding helping round up the people for it, but one of the um, people we're, we're contracting would be actually okay. conducting the focus group. So how do we want to move forward with this? Um, we have it in front of us. Anybody have a particular connection that we want to start with? Well, Erica might know the child care ones. I don't want to give her an assignment, but I'm just saying she has her own business. I think she might. Okay. That's reasonable. And then underneath there for child care is Scout. So that could also, I'm seeing, go with um, sort of a miscellaneous. You mean like under other or? Yeah, we have another. Yeah, might be for potentially red suits. I mean, I know they're having a hard time finding places. Scouts, you know, right? To, I mean, not that I think it needs to sit there, but it also they would we probably hear that from them. Just being involved with scouts at, earlier in my career, whatever. They don't have a deep pot of money though. No, so they'd be but happy they use space, but they probably would pay less. Yeah. Um, under other, is that supposed to be Western House? Does that should go under older community or so? Uh, sure. I didn't know what Western was. Western House, yeah. It's up um, across from where the Credit Union branch is. Okay. Um, it's uh, so 55, 55 yeah. plus type older house. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Under other, it's under other right now. So then would caterer go under rent space? It's right now it's under other. I could see them in two ways. One might be renting space for a function. 
Another might be if we're thinking people may want to rent space for functions, they would say, here's what you might need in your kitchen. You know, if because probably they wouldn't necessarily be cooking that kitchen, but maybe you need to have an oven to warm things or even something to make space rentable for functions or something like that. Okay. What is the specific task that you want each member to do with these lists? My thought was we would take say for example, example stouts and do some research in the community to find out who might be a person to contact to talk with about gathering scouts together okay. to be in a focus group. I understand. Um, and then phone number and email, just a contact person. Okay. So we can absolutely share some of these responsibilities too, because it's it, it could be extensive. So I think at this point, if you are so inclined to pick something today that you want to assign yourself to, and you do some research moving in that direction. Do you think we're going to go with the church category? Because I could take that one. I'm a retired pastor. Oh, I'm a preacher's kid. Oh, I'm <laughs> oh, okay. Um, sure, that'd be great. So yes, and so then I would say it's I can tell within top churches some. and right, 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 just within top some. Yeah, synagogues more. Yes, yes. exactly. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and just the same. Who's the contact? Who's the phone and the email? Right. I can have clarification on um, the disabilities list. Yes. The Steve's name is at the end of it. Yeah, I don't know why he can. I, I had him up to put himself on that. Does he have connections? I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's what I was. I was trying to remember if he said something, and I one one spelling correction is it's actually Ali Burko. So and I think it's A L I. It's short for Allison, and her last name is V E R C O U. And where is that? Independent, um, Independent Association. Oh. I used to be on a board with it. Um, Steve may have a personal connection. Okay. Great. That might be a reason he's on there. Okay. That's the question then. And do you know where Steve? Well, I know who he is. I know it. I can get a contact there. That's all I know. Um, did you want to do that? What group? No, because <laughs> no, I don't have any you connections. Don't worry. No, I'm still looking. Me, I'm slow. I'm still looking. No worries. I know. The if, paper is kind of hard. If places are in, if names are in the right, right category. And then I also think if you're sharing this document with everybody, people can go in and put name, plug names. Exactly. In. They don't have to be tied to a group. Yeah. I mean, I can tell you that Dolly Cavanaugh is a Jessica Day School now. Okay. Um, that's AJ's wife. Um, so I know there are different ones like that that um, you could all pop in and add. Who is it? Dolly Cavanaugh. K A V A N A U G H. And Pajeska. Pajeska. And it's P E J E P S C O T. So, one of the questions that we actually had was whether or not if we did have a have this document on the Google Drive, if everyone would be able to access it. So, like if Leslie sent an invitation to edit to that document, so we all have the skills to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So that, I mean, that's that, that what we could do. Basically. That's great. Also, um, under other, you have Cadence River. And then under athletics, you have Korea. So I'm a little confused if we're talking mm -hmm. about two of the same things. Right. Or and Korea is not really athletics. Korea would probably be outdoor, environmental, or outdoor. You yeah. also have um, the ATV group. Yeah. That we need to add. Yeah. yeah. Westrom, I would put under senior or I, I do we have yes. a yeah, we did that. under older creators. So where should I put Korea? We don't really have a title there. I would create a um outdoor out and would ATV go there. Well, I think they're all different kind of combinations. Um, 
we just call it outdoor activities. And then anything that falls under outdoor activities we'll put under there. Yeah. What about the karate place? What's that place called? Uh, over by Wal Walmart, it used to be out when I did pop to Walmart. Oh, Riverview. Yeah. 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 Oh, that I don't know now, but yeah, there is right. one oh, it that is that is is right. yeah. Feldspar. Isn't there a, still the Feldspar? Yes. Um, the sign's still up, but. Yeah. I know Steve Balboni um, and his uh, the Balboni kid went through there. Not positive. And the place across from the DMV, too. Yeah, there is one over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would be if you're taking this athletics. Yep. Oh yeah, and then I think we talked about dance. There's been several. There are a lot of dance studios. Is there really? Mm -hmm. Where are they? Well, and they're they're not all. Have, I mean, well, they're. I don't I think they're all in Topsom, but there are. There's one out on, on um, the ballet. The ballet school. The ballet school. Yeah. yeah. Um, Joanna at the moving company. Yeah. Over here. Joanne Patterson. Is yeah. That? Okay. Yeah. Moving company. So I think if I, I can definitely give access to everybody, if um, and then those that know people, you know, put Joanne Patterson as the contact and moving company, and you know, I think it can just be a working document. I'm mm -hmm. fine with that too. Maybe we don't have to pick a particular area. I mean, you're great to do one, and I can, I can add myself on to both the older as well as the disabilities. I can work on those. Yeah, because someone, someone might have a yeah. younger kid, so they have a daycare connection, but right. then they might have, you know, um, whatever another type of connection. Yeah, because yeah. Mary meeting soccer is on other, but it really could be on. Athletic. It's also on athletics, so yeah. I'll cross off that. I'll make some changes that I'm making right now. And Cannons River under other, what do you think you were mentioning? Do you think it was Priya that we were mentioning, or is there another avenue there? Is that the walking trail? Well, do you mean like the land trail? Yeah. No, Priya owns three or four properties in town that have trails and walkways. There's one up headed out of town to Lewis, towards Lisbon Falls, right by the Lisbon yeah. Falls line. Um, there's another, they own the Bradley Pond, or they have. What is it? Conservation rights to Bradley Pond. Um, well, it's it's kind of the same thing as the land trust. I well, and I Browns with Tops and Land Trust should be on here. Yeah, I'm putting it right yeah, here. Yeah, Korea. True. Yeah, I'm thinking Korea, and it's not Caroline. I think of Caroline. Caroline had been at Browns with Tops and Land Trust forever. So when they think of Caroline, they think of Browns with Tops. I think so, they're in the process of maybe merging themselves. Yeah, out of they are. I think John Shaddock was on the board or something. Maybe yeah. They, Maybe it's not quite finished yet, but so they may. I don't know if it's the land trust they're working with, or but something's happening. That they There's a partnership there that's working. Okay. Yeah. So are we saying they leave Cadence River Trail System people? Well, it's Cad, it should be Cadence River Educationist Alliance. Korea. And okay. yeah, and that's Caroline Elliott. But Brunswick Topsom Land Trust, who also has property in Topsom and manages and has a lot of partnerships with us. Um, would be Angela Twitchell. Yeah. All right, and one more detail around that. So I understand that Kriya and Caroline and Elliot go together, and then Kriya in the Highland Greens. That's Caroline Elliot. That is also okay. And that's their main office. Yeah. Is there okay. yeah, the bar? Okay. And the point of talking to these groups would be maybe they'd say we need function space or something or mm -hmm. meeting space, some of these nonprofits. Or... Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, they do talks. I mean, right now, I think yeah. they mostly use the library, but. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else want to dive into an area or <clears throat> just pick and choose? Yeah. I would like to maybe make a suggestion mm -hmm. that. We kind of have like a script to follow when we're making contacts with these various people and organizations to help keep us all on the same page and help keep it clear and concise. Just, that's an important point. I think just to clarify is that right now what we're doing is we're just gathering the names. Um, and then would be something we would give to Bob and Matt about 
to so that they could invite people to the different like stakeholder groups or communications. So we probably would have a letter of some sort, I would think, that we would be sending out or email where right. I actually specifically this describes what we needed from them. I think right now it's are you talking about just as we're trying to identify who the point person is? We need to right. I think, and that's what I'm kind of asking too. You know, are we just getting contact information and phone numbers and emails right now? Right off the internet, or are we making phone calls? Right. How are and we? Who is it? What are we doing? From yeah. the scouts that we yeah. yeah. I think it's more who, just a, a, a call about like who is your contact person to represent your organization. I think that's basically it right now. Okay. Or if people have a relationship with someone, they right. can put it in there. Yeah. They might ask a little bit over why you're calling me suspicious and think it's a sale. So it might be saying, oh, scan, it might yeah. be able to say something like, um, we're doing some preliminary work, getting ready for a needs assessment yeah. to determine if um, Topson's needs about. relating to a community cool. center. Um, <laughs> we're interested in knowing if maybe your group would like to be included in one of the focus groups. If so, um, who would be the best contact? We could send information yeah. to later. Right. Them. Yeah. Mark, can you write that all down for us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so I don't mean to like belabor this point, but I would just say I think that that is a different thing because then it becomes, well, we called this people, but we didn't call these other people because we have, we looked them up in the phone book. Yeah. So then it's like if we make a contact and we're making a little spiel, then it feels incomplete that we don't do that to every person who's on our spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. So maybe what we're doing right now is more passive. We're not making phone calls. Or gathering what we can without soliciting the organization directly, and then we decide that. And that will determine whether they're still active and still in business and still running when we make the phone call, because they could be in the yellow pages and not be there anymore. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. That's just one one. No, approach. that's good. No, that's good. That's a good thing. Well, and Bob and Matt may have a whole other way they want to go about it or right. have a letter they want I, i'm not we don't know that so, yeah so i think you're right with let's get the data let's get the information let's make connect not make fiscal or even conversation but right. let's get them on paper and then yeah go. i guess the days you do it that way too is we might have to make a cut you know because we're not yeah. going to have unlimited focus groups right. and, and maybe yeah. bob or and that will say, uh, you know, maybe some of these groups that are going to have enough of a tie, really, like maybe the main state music there, they're not going to have enough of a tie to top, so maybe they, we don't want to actually include that room or something like that. But, so, yeah, so I guess this, this yeah. points to just to using the internet to collect names as opposed I, to. I just think at minimum, until we all have had a chance to lay eyes on this with, um, you know, Erica, Steve, and Roger, just to just say, like, okay, have we exhausted our collective knowledge ourselves? For who we think should be on this list, and then maybe decide mm -hmm. to share it with yeah. Bob, and okay. then say yeah. how does this list look, and then move forward. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good point. Great. So yes. Yeah, so we'll tighten it up. Exactly. Yeah. Even if we get fifty percent of it filled out, we're still moving forward. Yeah. I mean, right. because that way, you know, for me, I'm like a night owl. Yeah. So like I can just sit there and awesome. search online oh, yeah. and everything, yeah. and you don't necessarily okay. have to like assign everybody because not everybody even with right. several people not everyone's going to necessarily have a connection right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i do think there's things like the brunswick teen center it's really people plus so it kind of covers different spectrums there mm -hmm. when you talk to stacy when you bring her i just have a quick question on data um, we're talking names and phone numbers but do we want addresses for mailing purposes as well when we're gathering this data I guess so. I don't know. Do you think it's probably not a bad idea because we could, I mean, for all we know, they may want just a postcard to go out to people beforehand saying we're, you know, this we'll be contacting you soon or something like we did with mm -hmm. the other Make stuff. Your spreadsheet landscape and another column. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. So I can come up with names for near me community mandate boy scouts. Um, Are you sure, Mark? Yeah. So I so that someone doesn't waste time having to Google that or something. Um, there's a couple of people on top of the boy scouts. Like Mike LeBay is one that has been an active statewide in scouts forever. He knows tons of people. And then Jim Pierre asked the local scout pack. Well, I guess main state music theater on here. Not sure. Their office is in Brunswick. We named them so for that. 
Yeah, I'm just. We also need to add Bayful under athletics from the area of oh, football. Yes. I will try to do that. I think I can figure that out. Turn it and then invite everybody. Yeah. Do you, do you have a document up? Yeah. Well, unless someone does have that, I don't know. We also just have theater in general. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, there's Midcoast. Well, right. So maybe it should be Midcoast mid Theater. Youth theater. Mm -hmm. And the Mount Ararat Stage Company. Um, what's the second one? Isn't it Mount Ararat Stage Company? Um, well, and there's something titled um guidance counselor so maybe that's like the school system one or something like that like it's not titled necessarily but where did it go? oh i think that was in the context of um talking to counselors and people who yes. work with youth around exactly. identified needs but if are. it's titled school system then maybe who within the school system should we be talking about I think the way Mary Tate said it was probably the best way. Because yeah. I mean, one of the fears the selectmen had was all of a sudden we're doing something for a 5075 that would make it a lot bigger. So I think, but well, there's theater, a valid point. Right, really we're talking right. to the, yeah. you, the counselors to try to find other things we should be doing for kids that don't have options. That's mm -hmm. valid. So. Yeah, I mean, Mary Booth is the host person. I mean, I don't know if she's on. She's getting done. Oh, she is? Yeah, yeah. Oh. She's done at the end of the year. Okay. It's going to be a big change in use. Super and a whole lot of yeah. other things there. Yeah. Changing finance manager. I was just going to say that um, from what we continue to hear is that people want more options for their kids. And I think that the guidance would be probably the most in touch with some needs that would be. Um, so, whoever said that last meeting or whenever that came up, I actually think that would probably be the guidance and social workers would probably be ideal. Um, and the other piece of it is that I don't even actually think they're going to, uh, from my understanding, they're not replacing Mary's position, so. No. Really? Yeah, I, that's my last understanding and they're, they're dividing it out, the tasks out. So anyway, that's a whole other subject. <laughs> but um, yeah. So. We won't get you started. <laughs> Yes, please don't. <laughs> um, but like I'm thinking, Danielle Hiltz is in the middle school with yeah. connections to that. We have a lot of. I mean, I live across the street from Danielle. Oh, yeah. Danielle is a, a, she's a guidance counselor at the middle school. Um, and Krista has a dual. Krista has it. Darcy Duncan lives in town. She's a guidance counselor. Um, Kelsey Spiller, who runs the health center at the high school, is, lives on Forest Side. We have a lot of people who are still vested in the community and the school system. And that's what I was thinking when I'm saying schools. It's yeah. not the school system, but yeah. more who in the school do we need to consider? And so far, we have the guidance counselors, theater at the school, and the health center. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I think the resources that we get from residents who live in the town and work in the schools um, is not the same as going to the school and having the school put demands on us or the school board members who mm -hmm. came to our meeting once. Mm -hmm. I think it, it, it's people who have a sense of our community already and can really give a mm -hmm. helpful input to what kids need. Should be, yeah. Wow. What version do you have? I do that. Because why do you have a moment? Well, Jesus, everything. You need to do all. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, thank you for everybody who takes a look at that in the next month and adds whatever they can. And I think we just accept that everybody's doing the rest they can. And, Changing what they need to. And... Great. All right, Mary Kate, number 11. <clears throat> well, we only have four people. Tonight, That's okay. So, so, what I had 
we had talked about at some point um, kind of deciding a little bit more about how we wanted to um, work as a group in terms of like once we had everybody on board, you know, talking about um, how we, what sort of our expectations are of ourselves as group members in terms of like what we're doing in between meetings, um, our going over participation and attendance. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute when we talk about the July meeting. And just, you know, just like I had said, starting the meeting with like the mission statement or something like some ground rules or just kind of like how we want to operate as a group um, uh, because, you know, there are decisions that we're making and, you know, our, how we how we do that. Um, we, for example, like with our minutes, we've it's been a little bit like sometimes the minutes come out quickly and sometimes they're coming out like right before the next meeting. And so if we're using the minutes for action items, then we really need them Sooner rather than later, because we that's where we're outlining like who's doing what kind of is, is there any way that the town could provide someone to take minutes? Because when we're taking minutes, like when we're doing this tonight, you can't participate. Not You're just that. totally a scribe and writing these out. Is that something that would even be possible? Probably not. It's, um, um, we have a paid secretary for the planning board and the select board for those papers. Just those two. Yeah. So we do the best we can with the notes. And that's why we do it collectively. Mark, I thought you had some pull around there. <laughs> I'm trying to keep your taxes low. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, so then it's kind of like deciding, and then this is obviously a more involved conversation from when we have everybody here, but you know, decide well, what is the most important information that we capture? You know, because there's different ways of doing the notes. Like I think um, one of the times when Rob took the notes, it was very it was a pretty short amount of notes but it really was kind of like the high points of like what were the decisions made what action items were and that is a lot easier to manage i don't know what the expectations are but how detailed we have i to think be. that's all you really have especially because we have the recording yeah, yeah. so right. so then it's less like a, a minute by minute capture of what we've done but just like so for as members we can just quickly look and be like what did i say i was going to do or like what is our action item in between now and then and what did we decide so it's less like a historical document and more about like operational action yeah action oriented um and then just talking about you know like our roles um chair co-chair our secretary you know we rob had i you know we we weren't sure at the time if we were going to need a spokesperson and so he had volunteered to do that at this point hasn't really been necessary but um you know what what do we need to be what what responsibilities do we have that we might need to have somebody as a point person for? So, um, so I just wanted to raise them, not necessarily for us to address all of that tonight, but just once we are ready to kind of move forward, it's you know that those are kind of some basic tenets of running meetings and helping group process. So, and I think for logistics' sake, it's a comment and a question. My understanding is that when taking minutes, you have two weeks to get the minutes done. <clears throat> and then at that point share them and then I then send them to Pam who will post a draft right um set of minutes on the website so the other option is to and so the question is that's a comment and the question is should I be sh sending it to everybody so that they can review them or is it the member's responsibility to go to the website to get the draft minutes? Is there a better way of doing it? I think it's better to email. I'll yeah, I agree. Because then it reminds yeah. people to, okay. as opposed to. So, so one also one process thing, which it because the two weeks taking two weeks for the minutes, I think is too long, okay. because that doesn't allow if you have to do work in between. One idea would be, um, now this only works if you're in the room necessarily, but to actually write them down during the meeting, mm -hmm. so you actually have. Which I mean, if I'm here, I'm happy to like be the documenter person. And then we sort of all look at it and be like, okay, does everybody know what they're doing, what we decided, whatever? And it's basically done. And it's just a matter of typing it up. So we, there's no like after the meeting trying to scramble and watch the video and stuff. We all sort of have agreement about it. That's, that's one, one approach. <laughs> Looking at my handwriting chicken scratch here, yeah. I don't think if we put this up, you'd understand what I was writing. Oh, um, yeah. We're talking about just a, a copy of the handwritten notes. 
I'm not sure that's going to work. You can type as you go. You can type as you go, or yeah. what I was saying is to have a visual. Is that like okay? So we've agreed. This is just want to make sure for understanding. We've decided that we're going to use this time frame for this, or that we're all going to like a statement would be under stakeholders. We're going to put it on the Google Drive. The group has decided that we're all going to go in and make changes between now and the next meeting. That's right. But how is it legit? I would say it would be hooking somebody's computer up to the screen and typing into it, which is easy enough to do. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I mean, yeah, that or I would say like a flip chart page that you could put up too. Right, she's saying her handwriting wouldn't be up. Well, no, I'm not saying I'm not I'm saying if I'm yeah. here, I'd be right. Yeah. And just to not double do what we need to do, I would say typing so it right I, onto the minutes is the way to do it. If I hear you right, Mary Kay, what you're saying is that we don't have the input for what we're supposed to do correctly in time if the minutes are taking so long. Yes. So if the person did the minutes within five days or something, you know, then send them out in draft form and people will be able to be responsible to read what assignments they have, especially if their names on it. This is for this person, this is this person, you know, whatever, or or everyone put names on it on the Google Drive. Would that work if they did I think it the fly, I think what happens is, is that our lives take over once they leave this meeting. Ah. <laughs> and so it's just difficult. And then especially some people, because the dual role of trying to listen and document at the same time, there's missing pieces. Mm -hmm. And so that I just know from having done it and others having given feedback, like, Mark, where's the video? We need to go back and look at the video. I can't remember the person's name, you know, or whatever. And then it's like, it becomes a thing rather than just kind of like, let's not make it a chore. Um, so five days is too short? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying that, like that that's, if it's, if it's a more complicated document, then. Here's what I'm willing to try. Yeah. Next meeting. Uh, I'll take your word version of the agenda, and as you guys are talking, I'll share a screen, put it up there, and type a few comments after each one, and maybe that'll, we'll see if that works. Yeah. Are we going to still be able to see Jenna? Uh, we we'll, may go back and forth. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, and I could do the, I could do that. My laptop has died. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to have to have eye on look at it tomorrow. Because um, that's what I was trying to pull up and print from here when yeah. you okay things, but I had to go upstairs to my desktop. Yeah. But um, I but think that's the yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right. We'll try that. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Great. Meanwhile, I'm not feeling any pressure to get these done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's say 10 days. <laughs> So and then, then just take the agenda yeah. and yeah, edit the agenda. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Or call Mark. But I think, <laughs> I think the important distinction, though, is, is like when I did it, is I felt like I needed to capture the discussion. Whereas I think what we're saying is you can just say, well, what did you decide? Yeah. And yeah. you only want to catch the discussion if there's a list of items where people are making suggestions for like the name for right. media that right. you want to capture yeah. because right. it's a variety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I mean, I was including like Pam's update. I was including what she said, Bob said, blah, 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 whatever, which is helpful if you want to go back and look at it. But really moving forward, you just want to know what, what are we doing? What yeah. did we decide to get yeah. on the key points right. right. this? Right. And if you want to hear from what everyone said, now, now, how long does it take the recording to get up there? Because I've looked for instantly. It. Well, it's almost no. Oh, no. So what? Not, right now, this is recording it to our Zoom account. Okay. Then I go into our Zoom account, download it to a computer here, then upload it to the YouTube. So okay. kind of depends when I have time to do it. So okay. yeah, it isn't necessarily. It's, the well, select board's a little different because we're live on YouTube at the same time. So that's up there. Uh, oh, I see. But um. If I haven't done the last meeting, you reminded me that we'll look at it tomorrow. So. I don't know. I, I think that we have to have a checklist between us, between planning and all the other meetings that do this to make sure that they get. Well, then yesterday I spent the whole day with interns. So I know. I mean, all people calling for this and that. And yeah. I do want to just solidify. So are we saying 10 days? And then a four-day turnaround. Turn so that's it has been the four. same day. Or, I mean, we're really going to have the yeah. next meeting if we go to this method. Okay, right. We'll okay. try to work. So through. the question was, how many days yeah, do you want to yeah. do yeah. hers? Okay. Well, we can also like now we'll do this up responsible for doing. Yeah. You know, so I don't need it only to come from the minutes. I'm hopefully leaving knowing what's on my to do. Right, but the other members who are not here. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get jobs too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, America. Yeah, I mean, you know, 
parents should be responsible adults. Right. I know we all forget and stuff, yeah. but if you have right. stuff, but I'm just saying they're yeah. not gonna know that they need to go in and look at the spreadsheet if they weren't at the meeting. Yeah. Right. 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 So I'll be honest, I have a week out a listing that says, is the agenda up? Is the are the minutes available? Mm -hmm. And you're almost like clockwork, it comes in right around there. Or I'll say, have yeah. you seen the minutes? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, that kind and of that thing. works so, for you. I think the week before, I mean, the selectmen's go out a week before, right, Mark? Okay. So yeah. I think a week is fine. Okay. I need to go. Okay, Janet's going to head out. Yeah, Hi, Janet. I think she already okay. left. So. <laughs> okay. So next meeting, we're going to move on to the next item, which is the next meeting in July. Mary yes. Kate was going to share what's. Yes, so I sent out the doodle poll and um, the, the date that the most number of people said they can attend was um, July 11th at 630. Um, I reached out to Steve because he, he, he can't, he just can't do that date. And so one of our challenges, we want to make sure that we can have members present because theoretically people are not supposed to miss more than three meetings. It makes it difficult to you know do our business and whatever but at the same time we all have different schedules so how can we make sure that we're accommodating everybody so um so what he had said was that in july um uh there's no mondays or wednesdays available in that particular um uh i'm sorry that particular monday july 11th he's not available um so He, he wanted to know if there was a possibility that we might be able to do like a 7 a.m. meeting, which was not something that I had suggested. <laughs> um, uh, and then, let's see what else did he say? Um, okay, so he said he brings no. no. <laughs> so he said he could do Tuesday, July 12th, but I don't I don't have the poll in front of me, but I, don't, I know we didn't have as much availability. I think everyone kind of honed in on the July 11th. Um, now I'm not available on July 11th. Yeah. That's where summer goes. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, I just really more want to toss out this idea that like we want everyone to be able to participate, but we all have busy schedules and it's the summer is a particularly crazy time. So I just I wasn't sure what we wanted to do with that because we don't want to like penalize people who told us in advance that they can't do a certain date and then we're picking that date. So uh, I know. You know. I know. Does it make more sense to have it on the same consistent date so that we always know it's going to be the third Thursday or the second Friday or whatever, not Friday, but that way there people could plan their time and their schedules around the meeting dates? We were doing that. Oh, okay. And um, then I know like my schedule changed and I wasn't able to do Mondays anymore and so we shifted to Wednesdays. And I think that then Steve wasn't able to do Wednesdays. And even if we suck at that Monday schedule, he can't do Mondays now. Anyway. And so, is there a, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I, I was going to say, is there a limitation as to what nights are available to have here? To some extent, which is why I pulled the calendar. Yeah. yeah. But Thursdays don't work at all. Yeah. And nobody wants to be on a Friday night. No. What did we say about Tuesdays? He can make Tuesdays, he said, right? So the... Was yeah, there the was first or third Tuesday. So there wasn't full participation for the Tuesday. The Tuesday. Yeah, the full didn't. Well, this twelfth uh, that week I'm on vacation. We're going to Lake Placid, so I'm. That's why I know I'm not available that day. I think that Roger said he wasn't. I think Roger said he was going to have a week to work. I'm trying to pull up the. We might need to find time when Roger when, but who's it that can't make it on Monday Wednesday? Steve. Steve, Steve, when Steve can make it so he can get his attendance in, and if one of us has to miss, at least he's not missing a hundred. Yeah, he says Tuesdays are open, so he told me he could do Tuesday, July twelfth at six thirty. Uh, something he yes. work for that. Um, we can make that work because most of the time the conservation, a lot of the conservation committee goes by Zoom. Yeah, oh, so okay. we could switch it around and make it up. Okay, what day? Tuesday, July twelfth. You have no. no Roger has no. Pam has no. And Leslie's now. Is there a different Tuesday? Can we go the nineteenth? What about the nineteenth? I think I, I think I put the ones that I could do, so I can't I can't do the other ones. Well, Tuesdays weren't on the list, were they? 
It was for one of the dates oh. for July 12th. July 19th is open here. I don't have anything on my calendar for the 19th. I'll be around the 19th. I'm good on the 19th. Okay. You might be around? I, I'm not. Right. So right. well, we may have to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if we do the 19th, Pam, you'll need to do this only because I've got a kind of board meeting I got to run. Okay. Want me to text Steve right now and see if he can do that one? Sure. And then we still have Roger and Erica. Erica. Well, we don't know if they can. Right. Because it wasn't a suggestion. Yeah. So it's Tuesday, July 19th. July 19th. 6 30. Yeah. Oh, he might be in the middle of like basketball right now. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Last night. Okay. Well, let's put it out to everybody and see if that's an option for July 19th at 6 30. All right, I'll let you know what he does, and then you can follow up with Roger and Erica. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's my last slide to do. You want me to just email Steve to? Sure. I was just saying, if he got back to me tonight, I would just let you know what he says. But yeah. Okay. So it's almost eight o'clock. We usually try to stop by eight. Um, Anything on the parking lot that comes to uh, mind that we want to talk about? We have not talked about location considerations for pop-up much. Just thinking for next agenda. I thought that was in our last. Yeah, we minute. talked about the difference of them. We talked about fire station, town office, foresight schools, okay. food trucks. Which, um, don't get a kick out of this one. We got approached or we received an email. The town clerk received an email about food trucks and just a little bit of history here, which we had no idea. Um, we had thought about doing food trucks at the rec field mm -hmm. and food trucks are not allowed in R2 zones by ordinance. So I'm thinking last year when Woodside did their Williams come, I would say, yes. Williams come, that whole thing. It just brought What's light to What's an R2 zone? And R2 is residential. Um, and the rec, the port, the parks and recreation facility on Foreside Road is in the R2. So um, we had someone that was trying to bring a food, a food truck down there for Saturday mornings for mm -hmm. soccer or baseball. Mm -hmm. So is there a way to get a waiver? From the board, not an ordinance. And historically, we've run the concession stand, but because of COVID, we oh. pulled back and not done that. So I think it's just that was part of the reason that it was there to kind of. I think that's it, right? Great. So, um, in terms of like our agenda for next time, are we just primarily going to be checking back in on these items? There's not like any like major. I think it'll be stakeholders mm -hmm. and tightening that up. Um, logo, hopefully, mm -hmm. action with that. Um, and it, yeah, and so I won't be at the next meeting, so that the, the, whole, the yeah. whole idea of this, all these process agreements things and stuff. Right. <laughs> so I can be there for I know, right. We so, need to do it when everybody's here. But, um, and then Mark said he probably won't be there, so the testing of the, the minutes. Um, but but Pam will be here. Pam will be able to do it. Okay. Okay. Great. Or you can do a lot of time committees, too, and just take July off and then let people go to summer and come back to life. I like that idea. <laughs> well, I think the pressure is because of Bob and August 1st. But I mean, right. to, it, to be it, honest, though, you probably want more instruction from Bob before you finalize all yeah, this focus. I definitely, yeah. So we can be working on all of the names and addresses and phone numbers throughout the month of July and put them into the spreadsheet. And we, that could be our focus. So we'll meet in August then. We hear from Bob in the beginning of August, and then that'll be part of our agenda for August. I think we should see if people can make the 19th and show up and try that. Okay. 
And if not, if it, if it becomes like a gap, you know, we've already tried six to have a quorum, you know, mm -hmm. right. We'd need to have a quorum. Right. Okay. okay. So the only thing is, I will just say as an action item for me is that if you want me to do a doodle poll for August, I will if you decide that you're not going to give it to me. If the doodle poll is working, I don't know if people just created that or not. Oh, I thought it was real awkward. Yeah, no, it's great. Can you go ahead and do that? We might as well. Do an August one. Okay. So Mary Kate will do an August doodle poll. Okay. Okay, anything else to add to the agenda for the next time? I don't think so. And then maybe, maybe Bob will get to us or is, is the uh, Anderson phone numbers everybody's okay with with that? Um, I can, I can, um, everybody's is accurate. I'm okay. Yeah, I can share that with everybody too, so you can have it electronically. Okay, we'll adjourn. Thank you. Thank you.